Welcome back to Stupid Coder and we are back for another video and this is the ninth episode of our grocery app series with Node.js and Flutter application and in this video we are going to write the API for our slider and this is a slider and in that next video we are going to cover this slider part and this navigation in the Flutter application. So before starting the video if you are new to our channel subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So first of all we have to create the model file and for that we have to go to our model folder and there we have to create one new file and name of the file is slider.model.js and from here we will create one variable constant mongos is equal to require and here we have to import our mongos package mongos then we have to create one more variable constant slider is equal to mongos.model here we have to give the name of the model that is slider and we have to make s capital and here we have to put s sliders then we have to create the schema here and here we will write mongos dot schema then here we have to get the schema here first field name we are going to provide is slider name and the type will be string then we have the required we will put here true that means this field is required then we have the unique and we will make this field as a unique also then we have to create another variable another field that is slider description type will be string then we have the required false then again we will copy this and we will paste two time and here we will change it to slider url then we have our slider image and we will put here slider image and the image we are going to make it as a true required true that means this field is required then from here we will export the file module dot exports is equal to slider and we are going to export this one so our model file is ready so now let's move further and we will create the service file also and we have to go to our service folder and from there we will create a new file sliders dot service dot js file and from here we will first import our model file constant slider is equal to required and we will put the path of the file dot dot slash models slash slider dot model then we have constant and we will import our db config and here we will put mongo underscore db underscore config is equal to and we will pick it from the file our app dot config file dot dot slash config slash app config and this one we will use for our pagination only for getting that base size now here we have to create the function the first function name will be and we will make it as async here async function create slider here we have the params callback and here we will check if not of params dot slider name then we will return the error message return callback message will be slider name required then here we will create that slider model and for that we have to create one variable constant model is equal to new slider and we will pass this params here and we'll put here model dot save then from here we will do callback and all on that response we will return here callback first variable will be null in the second we are passing a response then in the catch also we have the error here and from here we will return callback and we will pass here error so what we did here we have created one function create slider and there we have two variables first one is the parameters then we have the callback and here we are checking if that not of params dot slider name that means we have not passed any slider name then from here we will return callback and the message will be slider name required then we are here we have created that model variable with our slider model file and here we are just passing a model dot save then we are saving this model and then here we are checking in that response if we are getting the response then we are just putting that callback in the case of error we are just putting the callback of that error message only so now we will create our another function that is async function get sliders then we have the params callback here we will create one variable constant slider name is equal to params dot slider name then here we will put the condition here for searching slider name if we are getting any slider name then we will pass here slider name 
and we will pass the regular expression here regex new of regex and we will pass a slider name and here we will pass the options here dollar sign option and we will pass it i here we will put that name as a lower case in the else condition we will just pass here empty condition here we have to create two variables let per page is equal to mat dot ms params dot page size if we are not getting any result from here we will pick it from our mongodb dot config dot page size then we have let page is equal to mat dot abs and we'll pass a params dot page if we are not getting anything we will provide here one and then here we will just do minus one so what we are doing here we have created two variable first one is a per page that means how many record we have to show in one page that is we are picking from our variable that query string per page if we are not getting anything from there we will pick it from our mongodb config and here we have to change it to mongo db config and here also and then we have the page and this is the page number like we are in a one page or second page like this way so suppose if we have a total record of 50 and now we have to show only 10 record per page and if we are in the first page then it will show 10 record and then we if we move to the page number two then it will show another set of 10 records so for that we are using a variable for page then from here we will call slider dot find and we will pass a condition slider name then we have the slider image so from here we are just going to return only two things that is slider name and the slider image only in this result then we will put here limit limit mean how many record we have to show in that api and we are passing this variable per page then we have the skip here and here we have to put per page into page so it will skip that total number of record then we have to put here then and here we have the response and from here we will return callback null response then we have the catch here error and we will return here callback error so our get slider method also ready so now let's move further and we will create one more function and for that we have to just copy this and we will paste here and here we will change it to get slider by id and here we will pick it only slider id and we will change it to slider id and here we have to remove all this and here we will change it to find by id and we will just pass this slider id here and this limit and skip is not required we will remove here and here we can just put one condition if not of response that means id is not found then we will do here callback with the variable not found in the else we will just call this one then we have to create another function and for that also we will just copy this one and we will paste here and we will change it to update slider this one also we have to change it to find by id and update and we will just pass this slider id and all the parameters and we will put here option use find and modify false and rest of the things are same now we have to add one more function that will be that final function that is for our delete slider and we will just copy this one and we will paste here here we will change it to find id and delete or we can also use id and remove and we will just pass here a slider id and we will remove this one and rest of the things are same now here we have to export all these function so that it can be accessible from our controller file here we will put module dot exports is equal to here we have to pass grid slider get sliders then we have the get slider by id then we have the update slider then we have the delete slider and this one we will change it to delete and we will just put here so our service file is ready so now let's move further and we will create our control file so before moving to our controller file first we have to create that middleware for our uploading and all and for that we have to go to our middleware folder and there we have to create a new file and that is slider dot upload dot js file and here we have to create one variable constant 
multer is equal to and we have to import our multer package and here we will put multer then we have constant path is equal to require path here we have to create one more variable constant storage is equal to multer dot this storage and here we have to pass the destination and destination means where we have to upload the file function request file callback here we have cb callback and we will pass here null there we have dot slash uploads slash sliders and we have to make sure we have that slider folder also inside our upload folder and there we have to get new folder sliders then we have the file name function required file callback then we have the callback null and we will pass here that file name with our date plus we will pass here hyphen and then here we have file dot original name then here we have to put that filter and all constant file filter is equal to required file callback thing and here we have to create one variable constant file extension is equal to and we will put that array for that uh, extension of that file which is acceptable in our upload first one will be dot png then we have dot jpg here we will check if not of file extension dot includes path dot extension name and we will pass our here file dot original name then we will return here callback new error invalid file type then we have to put that file size filter also and here we will create constant file size is equal to parse end type here we have required dot headers content length and here we will check if file size is more than 10 mb then we will return here callback new error invalid file size and here we will return callback null true then from here we will create one variable let upload is equal to multer storage storage then we have file filter and we will pass here file filter then we have the file size and we will pass 10 mb this size then from here we will export module.exports is equal to upload dot single slider image so what we did here we have created one file slider dot upload dot js file this will be our middleware for uploading that slider images and here we have created that variable for multi object and then we have that path then here we have created a storage on the basis of that multi dot this storage then here we have the destination where we have to save the file then we have the file name and here we are just doing the modification in our file name and the file name will be saved in this format and if we want to change any other format you can do that then here we have the filtration and all we are just checking here if that file type is png or jpg if not we will return here error invalid file type and here we are checking the file size if that file size is more than this 10 mb then we are returning here callback invalid file size and in the by default we are just returning here callback null and here we have the true that means there is no issue in the file then here we have created the object for the upload and here we have multer storage then we have the file filter then we have the file size and here we have the module dot exports and then we are just putting here upload dot single and here the field name that is slider image so now let's move further and here we are going to create our controller file So now we have to go to our control folder and there we have to create new file slider dot controller dot js file and here we have to import two files that is constant slider service is equal to require dot dot slash services slash slider service then we have constant upload is equal to require dot dot slash middleware slash slider dot upload then here we will create few function first when export dot create is equal to required response next and here we have to call our upload function first upload required response 
then we have the function error error and here we will check if error error if any error then we will go to our next middleware by passing this error in the else condition we have that variable name constant path is equal to request dot file if not equal to undefined then we have request dot file dot path dot replace and we will replace it with our backslash else we will just put here empty then here we will create a model here model is equal to and we will create the object here slider name request dot body dot slider name then we have the slider description and we will pick it from request dot body dot slider description then we have the slider image and we will pick it we will check here if path is not equal to empty then we will put here backslash and we will pass this path else we will pass here empty then from here we will call slider service dot create slider and we will pass this model here then we have our error and result and from here we will check if error we will return here next middleware error and default we will return here response dot status 200 then we have the send request and we will pass here message success then we have the data here results so what we did here we have created one function export dot create there we have request response and then next then here we are just calling here upload with our middleware slider upload middleware then here we are checking if there will be any error we will go to our next middleware and else we are just creating one variable for the path then we are creating a model with a slider name description image then here we have that slider service and from here we are just calling slider service dot create slider then here we have the just passing here model with the error and result then here we are checking if there will be any error then we are going to our next middleware by calling here return next error by default we are just calling here response dot status code 200 that means success with the message success and the data we are just passing here whatever data we are getting from the mongosdb so now let's move further and from here we will add one more function exports dot find all is equal to request response next and from here we will create where model is equal to and here we will add the model here slider name request dot query dot slider name then we have the page size request dot query dot page size then we have that page request dot query dot page and from here we will just call and we will copy this function and we will paste here and from here we will call get sliders and we will pass here model and here rest of the things are same so now we will create one more function and for that also we will just copy this function and we will paste here and from here we will change it to slider id and here we have to change the name to smaller case name and here rest of the things are removed and from here we will just call here get slider by id and here we are just passing the model here and rest of the things are same and next function will be our update and for that we have to just copy this create function and we will paste here from here we will change it to update and here we have to add one more variable slider id and we will pick it from our request dot params dot id and here we have to also change it to param dot id in our find all function also and here this function we will change it to update slider and rest of the things are same so now we will create our last function that is for delete and we will copy this function and we will paste here here we will change it to delete slider and rest of the things are same here so now let's move further and we will add our mapping to this slider controller in our app.route file and for that we have to go to our route folder and there we have app.routes.js file and here also we can just copy this one and we can just paste here 
and from here we will add controller for our slider slider controller and here we will change to slider and here we will change that mapping with our slider controller and here also we will change it to slider here 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 and here so now our slider api is ready so now let's test it and let's see is it working or not and for doing that we are just going to use our thunder client in our vs code and we will just go to our thunder client and from here we will just click new request and before doing that we have to just start our server and for that we will just put here node mon js and here we are just getting some error so let's see what the issue is and it's giving error in our app.route file so here we have that we have forgot to change it to delete and here also we will change it to this one find one so now we are not getting any error so let's see in our request if we are able to run that api or not and here we will put localhost 4000 slash api slash slider and we will just click here send request so here our get request is working fine so here we are not getting any error and here we are getting message and data as empty so now let's do that create request and for that we have to change it to post request in the body we have to change it to our form and here we have to pass slider name and then we have slider description then we will have slider image and here we have to change click on the files and here we have to add this slider image and from here we will just choose the file and here we will put slider name as a slider one then we have the description here we will put a slider description so now let's click on the send request to see is it working or not so here we are getting some error so let's see what the issue is so here we are getting callback is not defined in our slider.upload.js file so let's see what the issue is and here we have to go to the middleware slider.upload.js file so the issue is that we have just put here callback and here that name is cb so now we have to change it to callback and we will save it now let's try again so now if i click on the send request so here that data is getting upload so here we are getting the return from the mongosdb that is slider name description slider image so let's see in that slider folder that image is uploaded or not so here we will go to our upload folder there we have slider folder here we are getting the image here but that extension is not coming in a proper way so let's see what that issue is so here the issue is this name should be file name and should be in a lower case so now let's save it and let's try again and from here if i click again on that send request and here we are getting that duplicate key name because that slider name is already slider one is already exists in the database so now we will change it to slider two and here if i click on a send request here we are getting that slider image in a proper extension and if i go to our folder and here you can see we are getting here slider image is coming here so there is no issue over there so now let's run that get request to see that sliders are coming or not here you can see we are getting two slider over here one is without extension another one is we are getting with the extension here that means our api is working fine and there is no issue over there so that's all in this video i hope you like the video in the next video we are going to cover this slider model in our flutter application by consuming this api in our flutter application and we will show all that dynamic slider in our application and also we will going to create that navigation bar also that footer navigation bottom navigation and all so i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching the video